I was buying Dell Ultra Sharps almost 20 years ago. I have probably bought and installed in various businesses well over a thousand Ultra Sharps over the years. One of my pitches in my former life of being an IT consultant was whatever we put on your workers' desks, put a good monitor. One thing I found is that I might be able to talk a company into spending $700 or $800 for the actual tower for 25 employees. But then they only want to spend $100 per monitor. And I'm like, come over here for a second. Oh, that doesn't last very long. It ends in 12 hours. Sweetie, these all end in 12 hours. I know. So don't sit there and doodle. Uh, you have to be signed in to your Amazon account for it to show up that price. If you're not signed in, it won't be that price. It'll be higher. It doesn't actually say Prime, but if you're not Prime, then yeah, why? Exactly. Um, Prime plus a Prime card makes Prime free if you spend even a modest amount of money. Exactly. So here's the deal. Let's take a walk, I'd say. Your employees, who you pay real money to, they're going to use their computer. They are. They're going to do stuff that makes your company money. They're going to be productive. They are. You want to put a little 19-inch, uh, 1650 by 900 resolution TN panel pile of crap in front of them for $99? This was, this was 15 years ago. Do that. Yeah, you can. But why don't we put a $200 ultra sharp monitor in front of them? It'll be a 1920 by 1200. This is back when uh, when oh, uh, yes. 1610s were common. Mm -hmm. It'll be a 1900 by 1200 resolution. It'll have nearly double the pixels. Text will be clearer. Eye strain will be reduced. Color accuracy will be improved. Viewing angles will be improved. Mm -hmm. The monitor will be a 21 or 22 inch as opposed to a 19 inch. They'll have 30% more screen real estate with sharper text. Yep. For what you pay your employees, they can be like 1% more efficient. And the monitor completely pays for itself exactly. within its three year useful lifetime. Really, you should get more than three years out of it, but I mean, you cost budget it over a three year period. If you don't spend the extra hundred dollars per monitor, you hate money. And your employees will appreciate the fact that the boss man spent money on them. The morale boost plus the, even, even the smallest amount of productivity improvement is the biggest no-brainer ever. Now, that argument is for a business, spending money, for people working. I mean, it's different, obviously. But no matter how cool your computer is, your monitor is what you look at all day. Exactly. And people want to buy. They're like, oh, where's the $99 special? We'll What's it, the cheapest monitor you've got? We'll put it this way. Upstairs on the uh, second test bench, we've got uh, a 32-inch curved uh, MSI. It's terrible. Sorry, MSI. I don't like it at all. I mean, you just it, look it at it ghosts. and just, oh, it's like that. It just doesn't look right. If I had to sit there and work on that, that would be, I'm just wondering how many people out there are so unproductive because what they're looking at is just terrible and their brain is just like, I just can't do this. This thing here is amazing. I'll sit there and look. I mean, I SEO everything. I... Uh, that monitor wasn't built to be a fast response time monitor. It was built to be a high quality monitor. Uh, yes. I mean, World of Warships looks awesome on it. Makes a difference. You look handsome on it.